Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. I'm still, I, I'm not even halfway through guys. I, there's just so many demos and there's a lot of really cool looking games. I gotta say, they, there's, it's been like an amazing Steam Fest. But um, this is Shogun Showdown. I've been meaning to try this one for a while. It's come highly recommended by quite a lot of people. And uh, so here we are, I'm gonna play Shogun Showdown. I think, it, I believe this is a roguelite tactics game. Um, and uh, I'm down for that. I really like Into the Breach. I've mentioned that a few times. So if this is anything like that, then I'll be happy. Moving, turn around, left, right, forward, or turn around, backwards. Okay, gotcha. And then we can we can add this thing. We, we've, we're, we've done it. This is the tutorial. Oh, I see. Left click or drag to drop a little tile. Okay, I, I managed to figure that one out. Uh, or space or right click for a second. Okay, so first, first were knives, then were arrows. Defeat the dummies to proceed. Info, toggle info mode. Practice a partner that never complains. Okay. Um, so are we, you, what are we doing? Are we attacking? Oh, okay. I right click to attack. You know, this uh, tutorial is a little short on info. Oh, okay, so the, the melee seems to not do anything because it's not close enough? Oh, right, we have to turn around. Oh, we can move, right. How do we, how do we turn around? I'm trying to turn around. Okay, it's up. So we move closer so that we can... Um, yeah, the melee seems to be, like, directly forward. I thought the notches at the bottom would indicate, um, how far away we would have to be, but that's not the case. Okay, but now we know. Combat is turn-based. Performing one of the following actions triggers a turn. Move, turn around, add a tile to the attack queue, attack. And let me just, just see. Strike the cells in front and behind you. Okay. Strike the first enemy in front of you. Okay. So I, I, I think I get it. Defeat the enemy to proceed. Well, we got lucky that he spawned on the other side. So we should be able to um, get some shots off before they can do anything. So they've got a melee attack. There we go. You can skip a turn by waiting. Sometimes waiting can be a very useful action. You can rearrange or remove tiles from the attack queue without triggering a turn. Okay, now we're not we not, we're not as lucky. Cause there's a dude right in front of us. And I don't know if turning around I think turning around uses up a turn. But I'm pretty sure it takes them two turns to do something. So if I put Q two attacks, then I should be able to kill this lad. Kill. Kill. Nice. This guy is moving forward and he's got a nasty looking blade, but if I queue up both my attacks and then wait a turn then i should be be able to yeah get off both attacks there you go almost got some uh, very unusual traditional roguelikes um uh, mechanics in this okay so the notches at the bottom are cooldown after using a tile to attack it will take some time to uh, some turns to recharge before it can be used again defeat the enemies to proceed well um much like we did before i'm gonna go ahead what? Oh, I, it takes him a turn to turn around. Okay, right. Slack. Smack. And then we have to wait. I'll throw that on the tile. And then we can move back to avoid that attack. Then we can put our other attack on our Q. And then we get forward and we know that they can't attack us yet. And then, yeah, okay, this is this is really cool. You can swap positions with an enemy by moving forward when facing it. Swap has a four turns cooldown. Okay. Practice your swap ability to uh, defeat the enemies to proceed. Gotcha. Um, well, I'm just going to wait for a couple turns. Because I, you know. Okay, so we want to... I wonder if if we swap him and this guy happened to be in front of me. What would happen? Would he accidentally attack him? It won't let me swap in. Um, I, I, do I have to be facing the right direction? Yes, you have to be facing the right direction. 
so okay so there's some interesting stuff going on here so i'm just gonna back up and wait and can we we can swap and then throw our attacks on there Let's turn around attack smack smack your journey holds many lessons yet to be learned the shogun is a curse upon this land and he must be a, a vanquished at all costs go yeah this is uh this is a this is cool um oh okay so meta let's see what we got in meta progression <laughs> Defeat Daisuke the Dasser. Demo Master. Defeat Ume. I do appreciate... Okay, kill three enemies in a single turn. Have 100 or more coins. Okay. I I don't mind this. This is, a, this is a little bit closer to what I mean when I say I want to see games do something a bit more intelligent with meta progression. First of all, I appreciate that these are based on achievements. These are things you have to achieve. And so therefore... They are things you can strive for and it doesn't feel like i'm just like earning some kind of currency some kind of weird currency between games and then throwing them at like uh, objective improvements i really don't like that i'm never gonna like it and i don't feel like i should have to apologize for that but i do because everyone loves it whatever um but at the same time i appreciate that you know this is this is well we don't know what kind of um stuff this is unlocking yet so that's there's that but I have I have optimism here. Once unlocked, you may find this tile in future runs. And then I like this form of meta progression where you unlock new tools and stuff um, for future runs. It has a bit of replayability. I don't like just like you know adding plus five to my attack because it just seems weird. We have other characters as well that I have to uh, have to unlock. So this is uh, this is actually really cool so far. I'm 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 very optimistic here. Bamboo Grove. And I have to say, the look of this game is really nice. Um, we've got just a reminder of like how to to play. I like this little this little lad. I don't know. He just uh, he seems kind of cute. Okay, hold on. We're gonna wait, and then we're gonna go smack. Actually, he only had two health, so we didn't need to use both attacks. I could have just used my slash, and then we wouldn't have we wouldn't be in this situation where we're waiting for both my attacks to go off. We'll swap. And then this guy does have three health. So there's that. So we are um, seeing a lot of, of uh, enemies here. So let's throw on our attack and go, Wacha! And then we'll throw on our range and go, Wacha! Uh oh. Okay, that's fine. We'll. Um, we're waiting for the cooldown, and then we're, you know, whatcha, okay, and then, like, we could attack this guy with our ranged weapon, that's fine, we're waiting for our melee, but then we go swap, blades, swap, or turn, smack, and I hope it gave us all the coins that were on the ground there, um, dash through enemies to the first free cell behind them, and that's got a cooldown, Dash forward and hit the first enemy in front of you. And that's got a cooldown. Why? Did, what are the pips on the top? I just noticed that these have pips as well. I wonder if um, you can only have so many abilities. So this guy's got one health, but he's he seems different. His quick dash attack can catch you off guard. Stay alert and plan ahead. Okay, what if I put this on? Turned around. Uh, he's got the same ability. Whatcha? Get out of here, buddy. And then I turn around. We're gonna arrow this lad. Boom. Um, melee's a bit of a bummer, but that's fine. So I'll throw this on here, and then what we can do is we can throw this on here and swap them, and that way we'll go boom, boom, and then that's, that's really satisfying. I like this uh, queuing attacks thing. This is really neat. Okay, so, um, let's throw this on here, back up, move forward, boom, boom. We've still got two more waves, so that's kind of good to know. This only does one attack, though. That's not, uh, that's not the end of the world. That's fine. 
Because the thing is, is that I've I've had a lot of attacks. Oh, let's try something cool here, actually. I like... Hold on. Oh, shoot. These guys are going to take longer than I was hoping for. I was hoping that they would move, like, next... Actually, this could still work. Check this out. Um... Oh, I, I messed it up. Yeah, okay, so you can you can trick them into, into attacking each other. Neat. Okay, what happens if... What happens if I cue these two like this? Could I, could I attack this guy and then hit the next guy? Watcha! Bop! Smack. Oh, they, they'll even hit each other adjacently like that. Okay. We, we took a, a little bit of damage, but that's okay. So what I want to do is swap. This guy, I think he's going to do that right away. Oh, this guy attacks in front and behind. That was dumb. And this guy's going to hit me as well. Oops. Yeah, there was nothing I could do there. Okay, I, I'm learning. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut myself a, a break here. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait. Okay, so you do get a, a grace period. Ooh, he he backed up. Interesting. So I was just wondering if we can we queue up we can queue up three attacks so I can be like whatcha bap kutcha and then and then like kill two guys at once and then we just you know we're gonna wait smack so we took a lot of damage on that round I I'm gonna forgive myself a little bit there because I'm, I'm kind of learning okay so we have an upgrade we can uh, upgrade the cooldown that's actually really cool. I, I think I would prefer to have a really quick melee attack rather than um, reduce the cooldown on the ranged weapon. The Wanderer versus Daisuke the Dasher. Oh, he's he's got some dashing ability, I bet. I bet you he's got some dashing ability, though. How are we going to... I guess we got to stay near him. That's that's the deal. Smack. So, oh, why would I dash... I forgot that the melee attacks in front and behind. I keep forgetting that. He's got a bell. I don't like the bell. Yeah, I figured uh, he was gonna... Um, I figured it was gonna be something like that. Okay, time to queue up a bunch of attacks. He's queuing up another attack. Interesting. Watch out! Bat! Smack! Okay, yeah, we were gonna I'm gonna wait for him to start to use it and then he will Dash in front and then waste his attack um, This guy I, I can't swap this guy again. Can I? No, that's that's got a cooldown Poison all enemies poison enemies take one damage at the end of the turn. Let's do that Ah, oh, he gets to do his attack first bummer This uh, it did poison the the bad guy though, so let's throw the dash on there and go whatcha bop and and we've killed the boss. Poison plus two cooldown. Poisoned enemies take one damage at the end of the turn. Um. Oh, let's put it on the arrow. I know that sounds insane, but. That way we have a really good arrow because I'm starting to pre appreciate the dash and melee more than the arrow in some ways. Um, cooldown upgrade, guarding shop, enchant upgrade, combo shop. I know what the cooldown upgrade is. I don't know. I can't remember what the guarding shop is, but let's try this. Yeah, um, this is already really good. I'm, I'm very impressed with this. Oh, we can add poison to something else. I kind of don't want to do that. Combo coin. Enemies drop an extra coin when combo killed. Um, yeah. Let's buy that. I I, I like the poison, but I've got a poison attack, and it, it the cooldown is ridiculous. I 
given like if i was actually playing this game legit right now i would have gone for the cooldown uh upgrade rather than the poison upgrade okay now i think the first thing we want to do is what turn around and then just queue up a dash kill that lad turn around poison oh this guy's got her oh no i didn't i didn't realize soon enough that that that, that guy was gonna have reach Oh, no. 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 Okay, well, that's fine. Um, so we did the we did kill Daisuke the the dasher. So what do, what do we get for this? It's just a quest we completed. Do we get something we can do? Unlocked once you may find this tile. Uh, okay, unlock tile. Grappling hook. I do like a grappling hook. Um, we have another skull, I guess. Smoke bomb. Once unlocked, you may okay. Let's do the bow. Okay, so we've run out of that. I'm not sure what these quests accomplish, if I'm being honest. Maybe it's what gives me 10 coins. Like, maybe I get 10 coins to spend in the game now. Yeah, let's do, let's do one more run. Um... I, I could definitely see myself either doing a series or just playing a bunch of this in my own time because this is this is legit. I like this a lot Okay Turn around arrow kill him back up melee Move forward. I, there's no reason to move but we did anyway cool down arrow kill him Melee turn around Kill. Boop. Boop. Arrow. Kill. Easy. Obliterated. No damage taken. Um, wait. Oh, grappling hook. Strike the first enemy in front of you. Shuriken sounds pretty good. Oh, is that going to be like a ranged uh, attack with a really low cooldown? The grappling hook. I want to I wanna take the grappling hook, but honestly, I want to see how it can be used differently than just the dash. Um... The problem I foresee is oh I get it. Oh check this one out. This is this is really cool. Okay, so check this one out. Back up. Oh, uh, but this guy's not gonna die. We have to avoid that attack. And what I wanna do is go grappling hook, and then I attack them both at once. And then arrow smack yeah this is this is this is really cool now this guy's got a dash and the thing is is that he's gonna take one turn to, to cue it and then he'll be ready to use it but also the grappling hook does one damage right so q turn grappling hook kill turn arrow back up use it grappling hook the reason grappling hook is because it's got a lower cooldown um wait i guess i used my arrow already so that's just that's just a mistake there we go oh god um okay so this is fine we'll put on our melee and then melee kill both at once combo two Now I wonder, um, I wonder like if, if I use two attacks to attack this guy, does that count as a combo? I don't think it does. I don't think it matters too much. I'm going to get a melee hit on both of these guys and then swap with this man. Uh oh, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. I'm about to take a damage. Oops. Okay. Well, let's, um, just use a grappling hook to kill this guy. And we'll use an arrow. Oh, I never got to use my poison arrow. That's a bummer. Use a grappling hook. Doesn't matter if we waste an attack. That's the end. So we took a damage. That's fine. Poison plus two cooldown. Um, let's add it to our melee. I don't like that because now our melee sucks. Like in, it's going to take a long time to come off cooldown. But I think I can manage. So this is good because we'll hit him, poison him, 
And then when he's... Oh, he's not even going to put a... He's, he's not going to use his attack yet. Okay, this is a problem. Because... Okay, when he's prepared to use this... I have to swap with him. Oh, yeah. No, this is, this is actually perfect. So he's going to be ready to use this. I swap. He moves forward. And then I avoid the uh, melee. So I'm going to Q this. And Q that. I'm going to move in front, but just to prompt his attack and then use the grappling hook melee hit, get the, get the, uh, the poison in there. I'll hit him with the arrow. Oh, wow. That's it. He's dead. I, I destroyed him. Plus one damage plus one cooldown. Uh, let's just, we'll put it on the grappling hook. Um, cause that way we have an even amount of cooldowns. I do want to go to the cooldown upgrade. I think cooldown, like, I, I would really, like, if it was my choice on the matter, I would, I would prefer to have a lot of quick attacks that do less damage than a lot of, like, you know, flash in the pan attacks that work once. Heal one HP when performing a triple combo kill, killing three enemies in a single turn. Difficult to pull off. Okay, so those pips at the top, I think, mean that that's how many upgrades you can put on that item. That is, so there's a maximum amount of up, uh, upgrades you can put on an item before um, it's you, you can't anymore. So now this is a uh, this is kind of my problem with having very good attacks or high damage attacks. Is um, kind of think it's worth taking a damage here if I if it means I can kill both of them at once. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna swap this guy. And he'll actually do a damage to that lad. Um, okay, this... I know it doesn't make sense, but I'm going to put the arrow on there. Me reason being is that way I'll actually kill them both. Now, I know they're... I've used up all my attacks now, so I'm going to have to be clever. Oh, this guy... Oh, yeah, this is the guy with reach. And he didn't, unfortunately, do any damage to that lad. Um, so this is where... Yeah, I'm going to put the grappling hook on. Then I turn around. And then... Oh, it's not on off cooldown now. Oh, shoot. Well, I should be able to kill this lad, actually. Smack, smack. That's the good reason to have um, very good attacks. Uh, I don't know... Like, if I kill everyone right away then it just spawns more enemies. But if I can hold out a couple of extra turns before I do, then I can actually earn back my cooldown a bit quicker. Okay, I'm gonna, I am gonna want to put the grappling hook on. And then I want to swap these, trade places, and then grappling hook, attack. And then I kill them both at once. Nice. Yeah, putting those combos together is a lot of fun. Strike the cell in front of you. Flip the enemy. This is the bow that I got. And then shadow dash. Dash through enemies to the first free cell behind them. I can re-roll. That's an interesting one. I don't... I, skip. I get skip um, in deck builders because it's like uh, you don't want to bloat out your, your, your deck. But I don't understand skip here. Why wouldn't I want to take a weapon? I'll take the bow and um, maybe I'll figure out or find out why having too many items is actually a bad idea. Now, I do see foresee this bow being really good. Strike the cell in front of you, flip the enemy. Because um, if they have a like a forward-facing attack, you could basically get them to flip around and attack the one behind them. And in fact, um, well, not these guys, but the ones with the uh, halberd or whatever they are, uh, the, the spear... They're going to be great candidates for the bow because they have a front forward facing attack. So what I want to do is, you know, you know what I want to do. I want to queue up this and then I want to grappling hook combo kill both these lads. And actually, um, we can do much the same for this, but uh, I want to earn earn as much cooldown as I can. So I'm just going to queue my attacks. 
and that way like oh yeah that oh it's forward facing i i got very lucky with that i i wish i had a better idea i guess if it's two blades that means that it's going to be front and back but if it's only one blade that means it's just forward facing Okay, wave three. Uh, now this is going to be a little tricky. Let's, um, I should, I, I can actually get them. No, I was, I was thinking I could get them to kill each other. I didn't mean to wait. It's fine. Obliterated. Negative one cooldown. Yes. I could get to uh, poison attack to be really good. Let's do that. It becomes basically as, as, uh, as it once was in terms of cooldown, but now it does poison attack. And like, come on. Come on, bud. Um, I know I just wasted two attacks there. But I'm... I've, I've got... There's ways I could like, basically really kill this in one turn here nah he because he's only going to attack the space in front of him these guys are, are doing a good job okay so right click yeah that was really bad that was a bad job i did just now because i what i like, yeah, I spun him around to, to, and, but, like, he didn't get to get his attack off because I didn't realize you do your whole Q before the next turn. Um, so that's not good. By the way, I can't swap with this guy because if he's got his attack queued, he can attack the front two fa fa spaces. So the only way I can really do any, like, kill this guy is with the, with ranged attacks. I'm gonna set up the, the bow. And just, um, I'm just going to attack this guy. Probably a bad idea. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that as well. Because now I'm going to take some damage. I'm making, I'm making mistakes. <clears throat> I honestly wanted to attack uh, this, uh, that guy with the bow, but I guess it doesn't matter. This is a, my problem with having really decent attacks is I don't want to use them. Because I want to save them, you know? Do these guys have... Okay, so these guys have an attack front and behind. So this is where I want to have, like, grappling hook attacks. And then... Combo kill both of them. So now this guy is going to be a huge problem. Uh, I really just want to like get an attack in now um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get him again before He attacks. Oh, you know what though? Oh, shoot. Yeah, actually we can swap. I didn't realize we would move at the same time Get the grappling hook in kill him uh, This guy doesn't have the halberd So I should just be able to kill him Oh, the, the poison doesn't kill him in time. Okay, making mistakes. I don't, I, I think like, I don't know if taking attacks off. Okay, adding it, I think takes a turn, but I don't think taking them off is a problem. So what is this? Plus one max level. What does that mean? Like, can I put this on here? Oh, yeah, so you can, like, make a weapon even better. Wanderer versus the Impaler. Ewow the Impaler. So I'm assuming he has a halberd. Oh, he's got something else I've never seen before. So let's just hit him hard. He's setting up another attack. Oh, he's setting up two attacks. Shoot. Um, we're gonna take that second attack no matter what, but if I can, uh, maybe if that first one is directional, I can avoid that one at the very least. Okay, so that, I got very lucky there, so, um, that first attack does strike in front and behind, but it attacks one space away. 
How in the world am I going to defend against that? Okay, so he's going to do a halberd. That's fine. I'm going to swap with him. Um, and I think I can kill him here, but let's queue up one more attack just to be sure. Yes, I was. that was a very good thing I did. Queuing up that extra attack saved my life there. Okay, we could we could get another bow. That's really cool. Um, we could also get another arrow attack. I kind of want an extra arrow attack. I like the bow circumstantially. It's very good. Max level upgrade. That's really only going to... I don't think that's going to matter. Sacrifice tile and combo shop. Let's try sacrifice tile combo shop. That sounds cool. Sacrifice tile get 40 coins. Heal 1 HP when performing a triple combo kill. This is difficult. Um, permanently add a blood service slot to the shop. Oh, that's cool. So you can use your meta progression points while you're playing. You don't have to save them for when you die. Also, we have like a bunch of stuff here that we could have used. Oh, that's heal 3 HP. That's probably a really good one. We'll buy this. I don't think I want to sell my power-ups. I'll unlock this just for fun. Um, so what is this? Blood service. Gains 5 coins. I'm assuming that is like we take damage. Heal 1 HP when performing a triple... Oh, that's, that's right. Uh, yeah, we don't want to take any damage right now because we're almost dead. So what are these locked slots? Why why are those locked? How do I how do I unlock those? Yeah, um this this game is great. I I I've been playing a ton a ton of roguelikes lately. And I won't lie, I'm I I'm a, I feel numb, you know, like a lot of them feel like a lot of the same, a lot of what I've seen a bunch of times already. And, you know, I, I know that's kind of shitty of me to say, maybe, but it really does feel like that. Um, and I appreciate, like, how simple this is, but, like, this is a very novel concept. The strategy is here. Like, I'm, I'm, I, I feel like you can really set up some interesting tactical moves, and I, I really appreciate that. It does have a little bit of, like, it, it has that similar feeling of Into the Breach in that you can, you can kind of chain things together um you know with uh timing in mind like once you've figured out how turns operate the mechanisms of those turns you can really um like uh manipulate the board to get the most out of it you can get the enemies to attack each other there's actually quite a lot of into the breach in that in that sense um but it's it's a much simpler playing field obviously um but not much more simple like it's it really like i i i i've been uh surprised at how intricate the board is considering how simple it is now this guy here he's got a new thing going on he's got a new weapon uh, but he only has two health so why don't we just like take care of him oh i didn't mean to do that that was stupid now Whatever he wants. Oh, he has a bow. Oh, that's a problem. Okay, here's here's what we're gonna do. Pretty sure. Once he gets his attack in the tile, much like this guy, he'll be able to use it on the next turn. So if I move here, okay, I was wrong. I, I guess he need they need an extra turn there. But the good news is that I can. Cue this, swap with this guy, and then that guy will get shot by the bow. Amazing. Uh, I'm going to use this because I'm, I'm sensing, I'm fearing for my life a little bit here. And now I'm going to swap places. And actually, I'm going to cue this arrow and take off the grappling hook. Because the arrow, I have a second one. The grappling hook is more valuable in other ways. I'm going to cue the grappling hook. And an arrow, and I actually should be able to kill both these guys right away. See, that's the problem with doing that, is that, yeah, that's cool and all, but, like, it's... Oh, okay. 
Okay, there's interesting things happening here. It's cool and all, but like you don't get to wait. Uh, you don't you don't get any grace period before the next wave of enemies. I actually kind of wish that maybe the game would give you like a one turn grace period between rounds, and that way you're you don't you're not completely desensitized from killing the entire floor of of enemies. Uh, or maybe like you get a benefit for killing them as quickly as possible, you know, like almost like a Isaac style or Spelunky style uh, way of like, you know, you, you, you benefit from killing things quickly or moving through the, the, the level quickly. Um, so obviously I can kill both these guys at once, but remember, I also benefit from killing three enemies at once. So if I cue this arrow, I was, I'm, I was really hoping that this guy wouldn't move and he didn't. So now I can go, whatcha? Oh wait, I'm an idiot. God damn it. God damn it. Now I get nothing. Okay, well, um, you win some, you lose some. Um, there's another potion on the floor. Um, don't really have a clever way of... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, we can queue up the, the grappling hook. Queue up the melee attack. Move back here. And then go, which, uh, oh, what? No, yeah, that was good. That was good. Queue up two arrows. This is not the last wave, but, you know. See, again, I would be, it would be much smarter for me to just have, um, moved back and, and waited a couple turns. So I'm going to queue up the bow. This guy needs to be killed as soon as possible because he's a problem. Um, and I'm going to queue this up. Now, I, there are, there's potential here. Because I can swap this guy, avoid his attack. This guy's going to move forward. So I wait a turn and then kill them. God damn it. Why do I keep making that stupid mistake? I keep thinking that the po the, the poison attack is like going to kill them, but it's the, the poison happens afterwards. Free play plus three cooldown. Adding the tile to the attack queue does not trigger a turn interesting i'll add it to the arrow i understand skipping this because you might not necessarily want to mess with your attacks i'll add it to the arrow and this will be like a backup arrow oh what is this lad this guy scares me add the grappling hook and actually i'm going to swap them and then grapple this guy attack him oh why did he die oh does this guy need to be killed all in one turn i'm getting the impression that he needs to be killed all in one go pop 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 yeah i think that that's the case that's spooky Okay, so we can kill this guy. Is this heal again? Yeah, that's heal again. Um, Alright, so... We should be able to kill this guy again. I don't know if the poison counts. Like, did, did the poison hit him before he kind of, like, ninja'd out? Um, like, can I do this and then this? Yes. Okay, so the poison will hurt him, but he also got to hurt me, which sucks. Um, let's do the arrow because the grappling hook's more useful. Case in point. Well, actually not case in point. That was just another arrow attack. All right. Um, so we, we need to make sure that if we do hit him with the poison, we're, he doesn't. he's not about to hit us with an attack. I guess if we hit him with the bow... Um, that works. And we can actually, oh, this is perfect, because we can hit him with the arrow, and this doesn't provoke his attack, right? So we, we bow attack him, smack, 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 and then he, uh, he doesn't get to attack us. Um, now this kind of sucks. We'll just do two range attacks, and that way I'll take care of these two, uh, Goombas. And um, I'll queue this up just to just to prep. Um, queue that up. Move around. 
This guy is not as bad as I thought. This should be fine. Smack, smack, smack. So it seems like movement happens before an attack. So if they're going to move it, he'll move before we do our thing. And so if someone's turning, you can actually turn them back around right away, which is really funny. Um, very, yeah, let's, uh, I kind of wouldn't mind up increasing the damage of the poison attack, but I actually think that this is just really good. I know I've like gone all in on one attack, but it's just so good, you know? Let's just kill these guys right away. Ah, uh, if I'd queued up another attack, I could have actually healed some damage. That was really like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm playing a bit too quick. So I'm just going to kill this guy. There's not really any reason for me to, to, uh, you know, wait on that. Um, so we can do grappling hook and then, uh, swords get rid of him right away. So we have three guys here. Um, I waited a turn there. There's not really a good reason for that other than I, I wasn't sure if my swap was off cooldown. We are going to do some nice damage though. Now, the problem with this is this guy is damaged. That guy is not. I, I noticed he took damage, but he didn't like do his ninja thing. Was I just wrong about that? Does he just have a lot of health? Is that his deal? So you, you see what I'm going to do here, maybe. Um, you know what I'd like to do? If I could... Uh, I don't think it's going to work. Oh, maybe. No, it's not going to work. I'm just going to do this again. I'll wait a turn. Swap him around. He's going to do another attack. Now, what I'd like to do is kill this guy, kill this guy, and kill this guy and gain some health. Um, we can do this, I think, very effectively, because I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'll put this on, put this on, swap with this guy, kill both, smack, combo, did I not gain, I didn't get it, I didn't, did I get it? God, I can't tell. Oh, I think so, I think that's why that appeared. I, it was difficult to tell if I got that. Now we've got a lot of enemies on the board and they all have fairly low health. So I should be able to pull that off again. Um, in fact, I foresee that happening very soon. Yeah, let's like do this. This, I think this will work out fine. Grapple, kill, smack. Did that not work? I don't think that worked. I think the poison doesn't combo. It doesn't it doesn't combo the way the way I want it to. Let's uh let's heal. Cause I, I see there's some potions on the board and I'm not sure if I'm gonna if I'm getting to collect those. Like it might be that I can only hold three. Now, I really do want to make this happen. Give me a sec. Like, um... I, I think probably I'm doing too many mental gymnastics. Heal one HP. You only get one HP for if you actually pull that off. If you kill three guys in one turn. So it might not actually be worth it. That being said, I really want to do it still. Oh, this guy's going to attack in front and behind. So that's kind of a bummer. So what I'm going to do, I mean, I'm going to set up that. Um, I'm going to wait a turn and that, oh, this guy's going to attack me from behind. No. So no matter what, I'm going to take one day, uh, take two damage. Oh, never mind. I'm wow. Man, I really need to figure out better how to how to make this work for me. Now I was kind of hoping I could. Yeah, I just it's just not going to work. Like we'll do this, but I don't get my my triple combo. 
actually yeah let's there's still one more wave so let's just like hold back a bit and get those those cooldowns back okay this sucks oh my goodness um we can kill this guy right in front like right away but is that what we want oh, okay you can only queue three attacks max Okay, we're gonna swap with this guy. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I have to do this now, unfortunately. Bop, bop. Because otherwise I was gonna take a bunch of... Ouch. Ah. Pretty sure turning around is gonna hurt me. So I can't turn around. Um, I can't move forward. Um, I think I take three damage. I don't think that there's any way to prevent that. Oh, you know what? Gain a shield. How about that? Okay. So, interesting. This guy's move went off before the other guy. That made me take two damage. Um, I need to figure out if, if there's a way to know when enemies are going to take their turn. I feel like that, that would um, do a lot for this game. Plus, minus four cooldown, but negative one damage. This is exactly what I want. Yeah. Um, kind of want to make the... Do, use that to the grappling hook. It's going to make it a cooldown one. The grappling hook has now become amazing. So this is Ume the Unrelenting. So now we can add grappling hook. Oh, I don't know what this guy's deal is. I'm going to heal... What the heck? Didn't mean to do that at all. Okay, so he's got he's only got a front facing attack. Good to know. Oh, but he's got he can he can summon goons. Fired goons. Um So this is it's fine that the the grappling hook isn't going to kill this lad. I'm going to turn around. This doesn't, uh, uh, actually, we don't want to do the arrow because that'll be completely wasted. So let's just pull, uh, to, um, you know, we don't have to set up an amazing attack every time. So go bop, bop. Um, I wonder if this attacks two, uh, two in front. No. This guy's attack is actually very easy to avoid. Um, so let's set up a pretty good attack here. He's going to set up another attack, which is good. So I'm just going to, like, throw everything on here. Watcha, watcha, watcha. He's very beefy, though. So we'll just, like, dash or swap with him. So he's going to be flummoxed. Turn around. I'm just going to... I'm just going to turn him. So, you know... We're not gonna we don't need to be like super complicated about things like all the time Throw this on okay, so we got the bell on I'm gonna take the grappling hook off Put the arrow on turn around Avoid his attack kill this lad turn back around Okay, he's setting up his uh, shurikens. That means I have time to set up something really good and in fact i can even turn him around at the same time he's dead yo this game is a lot of fun i like this a lot demo master defeat ume the unrelenting victory the shogun's castle looms beyond reach thank you for playing the demo yo thank you for making uh, a great game and um honestly like i'm i'm this this is uh, such a nice surprise once unlocked, you may find... Yeah, I mean, like, I could see myself replaying the demo. <laughs> you know a game is good when you're replaying the demo for the game. Um, but yeah, I'm just, like, grabbing all that. That's all I have for now. There will be plenty more in the full game. So we can uh, get some more quests, like quadruple combo. Stingy have 100 or more coins and never did that. 
Could have done that if I'd sacrificed my uh, a couple tiles, I suppose. Have 10 enemies kill each other over the course of a single run. So there's some interesting quests. Um, there's more tiles that we haven't seen yet. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. I like this game a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm I would like to, I want to see the, the other characters. Um, see what their play styles are like. Heck yeah, bud. Um, so this game is Shogun Showdown. You'll have to forgive me. I, I forget. I, there's a lot of games and I forget their names. Um, Shogun Showdown. If you've played it, let me know in the comments what you think of it. Let me know if you'd like to see a series for this game, maybe when it comes out. Um, it's, I, I'm, I'm open to that. That would be really cool. Uh, and, uh, if you enjoyed the video, definitely hit that like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.